we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Michelle and I'm the Director of Physician and Network Engagement for the Apothecarium. Um, we wanna thank our speaker tonight, Jamie Apperson for joining us from Grassroots um, to take part in our nine week physician training series um, where we're running, I believe in the sixth week. So before we get started and before I hand it over to Jamie, I just want to talk a little bit about the Apothecarium. The Apothecarium was founded in 2011 in San Francisco by a gentleman named Ryan Hudson. And Ryan's vision was to build a dispensary where people could be proud to bring both their moms and their dads. And the goal, our goal at the Apothecarium is to help first time patients um, feel more at ease with our beautiful environment and also a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Um, the Apothecarium is a full service award-winning medical marijuana dispensary. We have three locations in Pennsylvania, one in, one in Thorndale, one in Plymouth Meeting, and one in Lancaster. Um, also on our call tonight, we have Amanda Saylor. She is one of the pharmacists in our Thorndale location. So if there's any questions um, for Jamie or Amanda during the presentation, please utilize the chat box. Um, or the Q and A, and we will, I will moderate that and we'll answer the questions at the end of the presentation. What makes the Apothecarium different from some of our competitors is that we're vertically integrated, we're extremely medically focused, and we're very patient and physician focused. Um, in addition to physician education webinars, we also run monthly patient education webinars and also offer discounted certification events um, in partnership with physician, our partner physicians um, to our patients. So with that said, um, I wanna turn the presentation over to Jamie, who will be talking a little bit about Grassroots, um, which is one of the brands that we sell at the Apothecarium. Um, so I will stop sharing, Jamie, so you can take over. And then um, again, if you guys have any questions, please type them into the chat and we will answer at the end of the program. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Let's see here. Can we all see my screen? Okay. Yes. All right. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, thank you again, Michelle and Amanda for having me here today. I'm, I'm very excited to be here. And I also want to thank all of the physicians that are attending this training as well. Um, we truly appreciate everything that you do out there and we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So thank you for all of your work out in the field. Um, my name is Jamie Apperson. I am the sales lead for Pennsylvania for Cureleaf. We are now known as Cureleaf. However, previously before July of 2020, we were known as Grassroots. And so we had started as Grassroots back in 2018. We had actually started as a dispensary in Illinois before we had grow facilities expand to Illinois, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Then of July 2020, we merged with Cureleaf, and so we are now part of their entire umbrella of products. So out of our facility that is located in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, we are currently producing both grassroots and select products, which I will discuss today. We are also under construction for a Cureleaf Grow facility where you will see all three Cureleaf grassroots and select products being produced. And those are part of our clinical registrant facility. So we are paired with the University of Pennsylvania and we look forward to seeing some products coming out of there in the summertime as well. So just one other quick uh, recap, I had spoke a little bit to grassroots, um, now I'll speak a little more to Cureleaf. So we are America's largest provider of consumer cannabis products. Um, our mission is to improve lives by just providing enough clarity and a lot of education around cannabis consumption and really working to eliminate any stigma associated with it since we do see and hear all of the time from our patients about how much this healing plant truly benefits their lives. So it is interesting to me also, I found this out recently that we actually, as Cureleaf started 11 years ago as a medical device company to help late stage cancer patients use cannabis in the hospital. And they've then 
pivoted to become a dispensary and now have grow facilities throughout the country. So we are currently a wellness and cannabis brand operating in 96 dispensaries, 23 states as well for both medical and adult use cannabis. So our, our future that we envision to create is one where we can use cannabis with confidence and truly have that really strong education about all of the plant properties. So I will just dive right into our products since that's why we're all here. This is just a quick snapshot of everything that we offer as of right now. And I also have that kind of listed in table form, but I'll go into more detail for each of these items starting now. So of course I'm going to start with flour. We, we absolutely say that flour is where our story begins. It is truly the backbone of everything that we do. And we really like to say that our flour is infused with passion and crafted with care. And just my experience with being in our grow facility and seeing these workers and whether they're trimming or, you know, packaging or processing lab product, everything that they do is, is handled with such care and they have such a passion for it. And I really think that shows in our plants and our products that that amount of care that they take from seed to sale is really unmatched. And I, I just love that they love what they do. So we also say that genetics are really our backbone as well. We have a seed library that consists of over 40 strategically chosen strains. And many of these are actually proprietary strains that are crafted to produce the highest cannabinoid and terpene content so that patients can really find the effects that they are looking for when searching for a medication to help their needs. And so out of that 40 strain library, we currently work with about 23 strains as you can see listed here. And um, these are sold in our sustainable Calyx containers that are also recyclable and we sell them in grams, eighths and blades. So grams are your one gram containers of some smaller, small, large buds. Your eighths are, you know, the little bit larger containers usually of those big buds. And then we also have blades, which are seven gram containers that are small buds shake and a little bit of keef from the trichomes of our plants. We also make sure that nothing unnatural touches our plants. So we make sure that there are no pesticides, no harmful chemicals used. We actually use beneficial insects in our grow. And so it's really cool when you go in there, it's almost like they have their own little ecosystem because they do essentially um, to help keep any pests away and really help the plants stay as natural as possible so that we make sure that all of our medication is safe and natural from the plant itself. And this is just a quick image of um, some strain sheets we have available. These are also available on our website as well, um, whether you go to grassrootscannabis.com or curaleaf.com. Um, we do list our strains as well as the lineage. We have a sliding scale on the side that lets you know whether it's a sativa, a hybrid, or an indica. We also list the top cannabinoids and terpenes for each strain, as well as some of the effects that can be expected. And so moving on past flower, we now know all about our amazing flower. So move on to all of the products that we create with it. And so we'll start with our vapes. Uh, right now, we offer a distillate disposable pen that is a grassroots disposable pen. So these just look like the picture. Um, they are strain specific and they are a distillate made from cured or dried cannabis. So once we create that distillate, we do use a hydrocarbon extraction for that. So we are not using, you know, just pure CO2. We're not using pure butane. We are using a proprietary blend of hydrocarbons for all of our extraction methods. And so once we create that distillate through the extraction, we are then putting um, the abstracts food grade terpenes back into the distillate disposable pens. And so these are sold in 300 milligrams. We also have select products. And so before I go into Select Elite Live, which is going to be our, our live cannabis product, I wanna to touch on a little bit about Select Elite. 
Um, so we do have select elite carts coming to market. And I, I don't even know if uh, the rest of our apothecarium friends know this yet. So this might be new and exciting information. Um, we do have select elite carts coming to market. And the difference between these carts, as well as the distillate disposable pens in the live, which I'll talk about, is that the select carts are going to be a distillate cart. However, instead of using the store-bought food grade terpenes that we put in to the disposables, we actually have the availability now to extract terpenes from our own plants in our grow facility. So once we create that distillate, the distillate usually strips away all of the terpenes. So terpenes usually have to get put back into distillate. However, for the select elite, we are using them from our own plants, which is very exciting. And so I do wanna jump into Select Elite quickly. And so I, I do have, wanna just make mention that there is um, a really great video on the selectbetter.com website um, that kind of goes over the story of Select and just how it sort of came about. And so please, if you have a moment, check it out. Um, but kind of the gist of it lets you know that the, the owner of Select did not like the way that carts made him cough. And he realized that the reason the carts were making him cough was because there was silica fiberglass in it. And so he worked hard to develop this cartridge that has an organic cotton wick, it has a ceramic core and it is silica fiber free. So it gives you that nice smooth hit from the vape cartridge instead of any harshness. And so on the screen here, you can kind of see the, the spectrum that we have listed starts all the way from the yellow, which is our sativas. The orange are the sativa leaning hybrids. The red are our hybrids. The magenta are our indica leaning hybrids and the purple are our, our indicas. And so our Select Elite Live is made from live resin. So I'll just touch on a quick recap on our live resin process. So what is live resin? Um, it is a term that we use to describe any cannabis extracts that are made from fresh or frozen plant material versus plant material that's been dried and cured. So immediately after harvest, we pull down those, those plants and we immediately flash freeze them. And this process helps to really retain all of those amazing cannabinoid and terpene compounds that are found naturally in the plant. And so usually if you're drying and curing the plant, you're creating that distillate and it's stripping away some of those terpenes. However, keeping it live and flash freezing it immediately really preserves all of those amazing compounds. And so we, we see live resin sort of across as like an umbrella term um, across the market, across all dispensaries. And it, it does come with a variety of different consistencies regarding concentrates and oils. And so a lot of the consistencies that you might see are include shatter, sugar, sauce, diamonds, and um, also HTE, which is our high terpene extract sauce. And so usually the more solid consistency that you have will be higher in the THCA cannabinoid, but have lesser terpenes. And then as you get more liquid on the spectrum, it, it becomes a little more full of terpenes. And that is how we get to our high terpene extract. So a lot of um, other companies might use the term LLR for liquid live resin. We refer to ours as HTE, high terpene extract. However, it is the same thing. Um, that's just the, the terminology that we prefer to use for our products. And so Select Elite Live um, does com combine the same quality oil that you knew and loved from grassroots and is now branded as Select since we are now under that Cure Leaf umbrella. So it is infused with that high terpene extract from the fresh frozen plant material. And again, the way that we extract these carts, and this oil for this cart is through that light hydrocarbon extraction, and it is the proprietary blend of light hydrocarbons. And so we really believe that, that this whole process from our fresh frozen to the hydrocarbon extraction really helps to represent best the essence of the living plant that gives it that higher terpene content, providing those better flavor profiles. 
And so we do try to seek, seek out the, the highest quality strains and the most intriguing strains. So if you see a select elite live out there, you'll probably see it in um, a handful of grassroots strains that you may have seen before. So we do use our, our top grassroots producers to create the select elite live. So we do have it available in birthday cake, garlic cookies, Pelly Roja, white sour, all of these wonderful producers and all strains that we've also had really great patient feedback on with regards to how they help to alleviate pain, anxiety, and all any other ailments. And so um, one other item of note is, is that we know it's a very big flower market. So our goal with Select Elite Live, given that flower can sometimes be a little bit limited here and there, is that this is the next best thing to flower if that is what a patient is looking for. We also, as Select, have very, very high testing standards that we hold our products to. And we also know that in Pennsylvania, our testing standards are also very, very rigorous. And so combined with both the Select and the Pennsylvania testing standards, we assure you that all patients can receive a, a safe and natural product. And so I'll just touch a little bit on, more on what makes up the Elite Live as well as the hardware. So inside in your oil, we do use a mixture of the high terpene extract and distillate. And the reason that we can't just use high terpene extract is because when it is at room temperature, it wants to be in solid form. It wants to be a diamond. And so your cart would actually start to crystallize and make those little diamond crystals in your cart if we only use the high terpene extract. So in order to keep it liquid so that patients can vape it, we do put in just a little bit of that dried cannabis distillate to help keep it in that liquid form. And so we don't want to use any other outside chemicals or liquefiers or anything like that. We want it to be a 100% cannabis cart. And so we have the availability to do that with that little bit of distillate mixed with the high terpene extract. Again, as far as the hardware is concerned, we do have an organic cotton wick inside. It is a ceramic core and it is silica fiber free. And because of all of these um, little nuances for the select parts, we do recommend that any patient who's using it heats it on the lowest battery setting, as well as takes a draw for no longer than six seconds at a time. And so I just have a few more Elite Live key points to go over. So we do use our live resin comes from the fresh frozen cannabis to provide that true to strain flavor and effect. It does contain a more diverse cannabinoid and terpene profile than some other distillate carts that you see. We also have very high testing standards that you can not only expect from Select, but also the state of Pennsylvania. And we do use that proprietary technology to extract that terpene extract from with the light hydrocarbons and have it go through that physical refinement so that you can really match it to the plant so that those elite live in effects are close to the flower it represents. We always say to respect the plant and it does give back to you. And so this is just one other um, quick item that we threw in there. I knew a couple of, a little over a year ago, there was a little bit of a vape scare. And so we did put out comments that, you know, our, our products, as far as our vape line, whether they're the disposables or the select elite or select elite live carts. Um, they do not use any of those harmful chemicals, um, including the, the vitamin E acetate or anything that should be inhaled. They are pure cannabis oil. And so moving on to concentrates, right now we are only offering live concentrates and that is um, mainly based on feedback we've heard from the market. We did have dried, cured concentrates out for a little while. However, the demand for the live concentrates, given that they are higher in cannabinoids and terpenes, really took off. And, and so we wanted to make sure that we were giving the patients what they were looking for. We do take all of our feedback very seriously and we try to implement it whenever we can. And so we do only have live concentrates at the moment. That's not to say we won't have dried concentrates in the future. Um, they are extracted from the fresh frozen material, just as the Select Elite Live are. 
And we do have them available in the butter, sugar, crumble, sugar, so sugar and sauce. Uh, we have live resin as well as diamonds and diamond dust. And these are all labeled based on the consistency. The one thing um, to note is probably the diamond dust is probably a, a unique term that we use at, at Grassroots and Cura Leaf. And that is simply our version of what you might see as THC sand. They are um, smaller, really tiny, small diamonds that form once we create that beautiful concentrate. And one um, really interesting thing as far as our diamond dust is concerned is that we have never actually created any diamond dust that has tested below 99% THC. So that's always a win. Patients love that when they see that come out into market. And so I'll move on to one of my favorite items that we sell and also probably our, our most medical item that we have available is our RSO. So we do sell thousands of RSO syringes each month. And we, you know, have always heard that there is a demand for it. And so we've definitely tried to produce a lot more to get it out there as patients are using this as a very medical product to treat some of their symptoms. And so back when Rick Simpson was making his RSO, he was using the entire plant. He was using the stems, the leaves, um, you know, any, anything that came with the plant, the buds, all of it, and using ethanol to extract it. And so we feel that our process has really evolved from the ethanol extracted RSO of yesteryear, I guess. Um, we, you know, it used to come out as that very like thick, dark, tar almost consistency of oil. However, we are actually using our light hydrocarbon extraction for our RSO. And so we really believe that our process purges off all of the solvents that, that are unnecessary for this medication so that the patients are actually getting more medicine with less plant material. And so you can tell that there's a little less plant material in it. We do not use stems or leaves or anything like that. Um, we use only the, the pure buds from our flower. And so when we use that hydrocarbon extraction on those pure buds, it does eliminate some of that unnecessary chlorophyll. So it does give it a much lighter color than you'll see in, in some other RSOs or some of Rick Simpson's original oil. And so with that, with the idea that we do not use the ethanol extraction, it makes our RSO even more versatile. So not only can you just put a little bit on some food, you can cook with it, you can ingest it sublingually, and you can also vape our RSO. I don't like to say that uh, about anybody else's RSO because I'm not certain on their processes, but you can indeed vape ours. And so we do have our RSO available both in a full spectrum and strain, and strain specific varieties. And we have them available as a one gram syringe or a half gram syringe. And our, our, again, our color is based on the terpene and the chlorophyll content. So it does vary a little bit from strain to strain. But one thing I wanna mention here as well is that we hear the terms full spectrum and broad spectrum um, as, you know, as with regards to CBD and um, we hear those terms a lot. So when we're talking about full spectrum RSO specifically for our, our product, um, I want to reiterate that we are, are basing this because our processing team really carefully chooses a blend of strains that result in the highest cannabinoid and terpene content while also maintaining consistency. So while being the most medical product we have, the full spectrum RSO specifically is going to be the most consistent product we had because we know that we can make that, that same um, amount with the same levels of those terpene and cannabinoids every time. And so we also have them available in strain specific. And uh, we also are, are very cautious when it comes to RSO because a little bit goes a very, very long way. Uh, our RSO is very super concentrated. It, we recommend for patients that 
um, or just trying it for the first time to try a half of a grain of rice, just to get it into their body to see how it does. Because sometimes that that full grain of rice dose can be a little bit much if you're a first time user. And so while we have so much wonderful feedback about how this product has been able to change lives as far as dealing with pain or anxiety or whatever ailment the patient has, we always like to express um, to please ex use a little bit of caution and, and go low and slow when it comes to our RSO. And so moving on to our RSO capsules, and this is kind of a spinoff if they, you know, if someone um, doesn't want a whole syringe of oil, if they want it sort of pre-dosed, we actually have RSO capsules. And so these are vegetarian, actually vegan, sugar-free and gluten-free capsules. And they're made with our full spectrum RSO and a little bit of coconut oil for added bioavailability. We also recommend that if anybody is ingesting RSO, whether it's from the syringe, if they are using the syringe, that they have something that has a little bit of fat content. So that's why we make sure we put that coconut oil in the full spectrum capsules. We have these available in 10 milligram and 50 milligram increments. And we are coming out with some strain specific capsules soon too. So. For the longest time, we did have only the full spectrum RSO in the capsules, but you might see some birthday cake or some garlic cookies capsules coming out shortly as well. And then we are looking to um, increase our offerings for both the full spectrum and the strain specific, where we can give patients, you know, something in between that 10 and 50 range. So we have a 25 milligram, 20 count um, of RSO capsules coming out. And then for the heavier user patients, we actually will have a 100 milligram capsule available soon. <laughs> I know, so, yeah, I won't even go near that. <laughs> um, this is actually a, a slide that I put in. So we did have some questions regarding the capsule calculation for how we calculate the THC. And so please, um, let me know if there's ever any questions regarding this. I'm happy to go into more detail. Um, however, the calculation that our lab team uses does take the weight of both the coconut oil and the RSO from inside the capsule and then multiplies it by the THC percentage. And then last but not least, I have our THC tablets. And so one thing I like to start off by saying is that these are going to be for um, a different patient group than, you know, your heavier RSO users. These are a, a little bit on the lighter side. So we, they are gluten-free, sugar-free, and vegan and available in a 2.5 milligram and a 10 milligram. They are actually just pressed THC powder with a little bit of microcrystalline cellulose in it. Um, that, that plant cellulose helps that THC be a binding agent so that we can press it into tablet form. And I, I think these are a really excellent product for someone who maybe is a new patient, maybe any of your elderly patients, or someone who's even looking to microdose a little bit on top of their current regimen. So as I said, they're, you know, they won't pack as much of a punch as your um, RSO. So if somebody is looking for some really heavy pain relief, I'd probably stay away from these. However, if they are looking for something that can provide them um, pain relief while keeping the, the psychoactive effects at a minimum, I would definitely recommend the THC tablets. And um, I'll share just a quick personal story for myself. So um, I, I get migraines and when I take two of the 2.5s, I am very much able to focus and stay very clear headed and very alert all day, but I'm also able to stay very pain free. And so that helps not only my migraines, but some of my other pain ailments as well. And so I think they are a great product, even though they're um, a little on the lighter side from our regular higher THC offerings. And then these are just a couple of slides I put in um, just to, to ensure that, you know, we, we have sort of a graph that illustrates how we create our dry cannabis, our distillate, our RSO, as well as our fresh frozen cannabis, our live extracts. And then 
just some of our contact information here. If anybody ever has any questions, um, again, I'm Jamie Apperson. Please feel free to reach out to me. Our customer service and support is always there as well. And that, that is all I have. So thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Sure. I appreciate you. Let me check and see if we have any questions. I did not see any questions that came through. Amanda, did you have any questions for Jamie? I don't think I have any questions. You pretty much answered um, pretty much answered all my questions throughout your presentation, but I would like to say thank you for the RSO that you guys create. It's very easy for patients to use um, physically to get out of the syringe. So I wanna thank you for that. That's a go-to for me as well as the select delete carts, they're really great. They're, um, we really just never get any complaints. Everyone just really likes them and appreciates them. So thank you for them. Um, when you, the, with the RSO, cause I've noticed with some of the activated mm -hmm. like distillates and other RSOs, it, yes. it, it is hard to, so like to squeeze it out of the actual yes. syringe. So with, with your product, Jamie, do you need to like heat that up like I, I like I know that's been a trick like to put it in like warm water or something like that no actually and and first of all thank you so much for your kind words I will absolutely pass that on to our team because they they love to hear that they're always wondering uh how it's performing so thank you so much and yeah actually um our RSO syringes are very, very liquid consistency, more so than some of the other RSO that you see. And this comes from our hydrocarbon extraction. So it is able to keep it into more of a liquid form. So it doesn't have to be heated up or anything like that. You can just uh, gently press on the plunger of the syringe and then get a little bit out. But I, I stress gently because sometimes if you push a little too hard, then a lot of it comes out at once. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Let me just double check again. Okay. Well, I appreciate you both joining. Um, since we don't have any more questions, uh, we can end early. I just want to remind the physicians that this is being recorded. So if you would, you know, if there's something that you missed um, or you want to watch it again or pass it on to a colleague, please do so. Also, um, if anybody has any questions for Jamie, you can certainly email me um, or use her email address. Um, that was on the slideshow that you'll see um, during the recording. Um, but if not, you can email me and I can pass it on to Jamie. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Amanda, for joining. And we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys.